So we're going to be closing these balances to make revenue zero. It currently has a 42,050 credit balance. So we need to debit it 42,050. Now the account we use to close is going to be our income summary. So we have to balance it, so we will balance it on the credit side to close. Now if we had other revenue accounts, we could close it all in one transaction. The second one. After we close our revenue, which which will we close? Sorry. We're going to close our expenses next. Yeah. So if we have these four debit balances, what do we need to do to make them zero? That's right, you need to credit it. So, we, so what are we going to end up debiting? Income summary. Income summary. So I don't know what the total is yet, so we'll start working through this. Oops. Moving our way through the expenses. If you want to add, if someone wants to add these up. To close expense accounts. Now one thing I saw a lot on the exam, uh, I think it's taught in India, you don't, you shouldn't write two on the credit accounts. Just put the indent, please. Uh, we don't, we don't do that here. Just as a, um, as an FYI. April 30th. So we've now closed our revenue. We've now closed our expenses. The next account we need to close will be our income summary. So how do we know if it's a debit or a credit? Yes, we can take the total. So we'll do a little basic T-chart. Forty-two thousand fifty credit. Thirty-two thousand six hundred debit. So we have a credit balance of nine thousand five hundred. Or sorry, is that nine thousand four fifty? Oh, 9,000, not 92,000, sorry. Looking at the house. So we've got 9,450 credit balance. So how do we make that zero? We can debit it. So rank income summary. And 
we're going to now credit our capital because we've just closed our income statement or temporary accounts. And we know, just like when we did the flow through, so think about the flow through and the income statement. Uh, how the net income or net loss affects your overall capital. Now we're just finalizing it. So we don't need an income statement. This will be the new ba balance. And the last one we need to close will be our withdrawals. Just like anything that is put onto our income statement, or pardon me, our statement of changes to close, uh, pardon me, our statement of equi closing, changes in, changes in equity, sorry, will be closed out here in this account. So we have a current balance of 9,600. Debit, how do we, how do we make that zero? We're going to credit it, 9600 So we are going to debit our capital account. So after this transaction, what are all of the, the balances of the these accounts? So what is the balance of income summary? After we complete these transactions. Should be zero, right? Because we balanced it right here. What is the balance of all the expenses? Zero. Revenue? Withdrawals? Zero. Zero. What about capital? Let's find out. So it was a credit balance of 29,100. We then credited 9450. And then we then debited 9,600. So our new balance, 28,950. So we have a balance of 28950 instead of 29. So it asks us to prepare a post closing trial balance. So let's go ahead and do that. So we set it up the same way we would any other statement. And we can start pulling the information across from here. Now if there's a zero balance, we don't need to include it.
Oops, that's what I did wrong. So if you don't update your capital account after you close, you will prepare this incorrectly. Add them up. rebalance. 